So in layer three RRC, now the user starts getting in touch with the core network and there are different states which shows that how the user is connected to the core network or how the user is basically being controlled. So there are three different states. One is the idle, inactive and connected mode. Now, before getting into these three, three modes of RRC, let's understand the registration management and connection management first. So registration management is basically related to the registration of the UE at the core network. So that core network can have all the valid location and routing related information of the user. And if they get it, then it will be considered as a RM registered mode. Similarly, if there is a NAS signaling that this connectivity, if starts happening between the core network and the user, then it will be considered as a CM connected mode. So connection management is built up there. Now for idle mode, these two uh, scenarios are basically RM deregistered and CM idle mode is considered where there is no connection between the user and the core network present and there is no data transfer that is possible here. There is no RRC context that is enabled and no core network connection is enabled there. The all the mobility, the user is moving from one cell to another that is being done by the UE itself by taking the SIP information from the G node B in the downlink. Now in inactive mode, basically the registration has been done now. Now it is a RM registered mode where uh, AMF is having all the details related to the location of the user. Also, it is having the NAS signaling established between UE and the core network. Now, in this case, still there is no data which is being transmitted. The user information that is being transmitted between the UE and the AMF, it will keep connecting with the core network, but the data will not be transmitted. And this state is known as an inactive state. So the reason of this state, introduction of this state in 5G is basically to uh, provide the services which require the lower latency where for initiation, initiating the registration and the connection to the core network is taking too long, that will be reduced in inactive mode. So in case of RRC connected mode, what will happen is now in this case, the network is having a full control over the user and here the data started transmitting between the UE and the AMF. So these are broadly the difference between the three different states, which we can see here also. Once the user is powered up, it will go to the idle mode. It is uh, RM deregistered and it is CM idle mode. Once it goes to the connected and the inactive mode, it will be converted to the RM registered and CM connected mode. So if there is no data that is to be, uh, you know, transmitted, then it will shift it from the RRC connected to inactive and then to idle mode.